Hey everyone, as you can see, I'm in Yosemite. I made a quick trip out here to climb the south face of Washington Column. It's going to be a rope solo climb. I'm going to be using my silent partner um, to climb up by myself. Uh, this is going to be a, a test of all my systems and everything before I go up the nose in October. I've got all my kit here, I laid it all out, I want to get it all set up so when I park the car I can step off. I was just looking at my watch, I've got 44 hours from now until I have to be driving out of here to get back on a plane. So, I don't have to work too quickly, but it's 11 pitches long. I'm hiking into Washington Column now. You can see this bag I've got on the front of me. I'm going to feed my rope into that. So when I'm uh, soloing with my rope, it's coming out of my backpack rather than a big loop. In the past I've used a big loop, but it tends to get stuck on things. This is the first time I'm trying it with the backpack, so we'll see how it goes. It's been a couple of years since I've been to Yosemite. Such beautiful terrain out here. Hiking past the river with the cliffs on my left and on the right. If only my pack wasn't so heavy. day two on the south face of Washington Column. Last night I made it up to the top of pitch three which is Dinner Ledge. I'm sitting on Dinner Ledge now. It's a great spot for up to about six people to sleep up here. Um, it took me a lot longer than I was expecting to get up here. <clears throat> it took me almost 11 hours to do those three pitches which I thought was astounding that it took so long. But then this morning when I was thinking back when I'm rope soloing in addition to climbing up and hauling every second pitch which would which was what you do if you had two people. Every pitch I have to lead up it, then wrap down, then climb up again, jugging the rope <clears throat> and cleaning my gear, and then haul it. So effectively I'm moving myself and my haul bag over the terrain four times for every pitch. Um, and that's if the hauling goes well. I found each one of my pitches, I had to go down at least once to clear up a, a, a snag in the line. <clears throat> so overall, I climbed up the rock three times, I climbed up the rope seven times because of all of my um, my extra haulage having to go down and, and free the bag and also uh, there was a couple of climbers who were descending and they got their rope stuck so I had to climb up my rope once to, to rescue their rope. Um, so it was a big effort um, I, and I used a whole lot more water than I was expecting as well. I started with 11 and a half litres and I've now got five litres remaining. So I used six and a half litres yesterday uh, up until this morning. So looks like I'm not going to be able to get to the top. Um, I'm definitely going to go and do pitch number four, which is uh, looks like an interesting pitch. It's a roof and then maybe pitch five as well. It's a great, great day out here. You can see um, Half Dome in the back behind me and uh, it's a really nice view from here. So just enjoying the moment and uh, hoping it doesn't get too hot today. Halfway up pitch four. Finally on this pitch I'm using a lot more nuts. I've got a peanut in there and uh, coming up to the roof. This is called the core roof. It's got bolts to get across it. Four bolts up there, but it's a pretty big move up to this swing that you can see. I can't get any gear in there, I've tried cams, I've tried nuts, so I'm going to use a loader now to step up high and I should be able to reach that uh, right there. Well, the pointy nose Logan hook worked, it was a big success. And I reached the sling. So now the bolted roof. I've cleared the roof, the core roof. I get the feeling that I'm just stepping out above the abyss. And if you look down below, I've got the roof here. It's a nice break. So so thirsty. I didn't bring any water up with me. It's really windy, which is okay because it's keeping the temperature cooler. But I'm looking forward to having a drink. It's so windy up here, 
as I'm trying to get this nut out, my ropes are flying and they've twisted all around each other. Everything's blowing sideways.